I took a cab out to the famous Biker Estate, which replaced a mass of Victorian terraced houses. I had always wanted to visit what seemed the very original attempt to solve the problems of modern mass housing, designed by the intriguing architect Ralph Erskine. Erskine has had a lifelong commitment to social housing. He is in fact English, although he has spent most of his working life in Sweden. This is what he managed to achieve in Britain. To find out more, I met up with Peter Fawcett, an architect who actually lived at Biker for five years. Erskine was the very first architect to introduce the idea of community architecture. And in fact, he actually established his own architectural office in a former funeral parlour, which is actually down uh, here, it's now the uh, housing office. And they, were, they had an open door policy. But the very first housing that was completed here, Janet Square, was actually done in participation with the people who were actually going to live in it. So it was a unique thing. And of course, since then, uh, community architecture then became popular amongst uh, architecture working, particularly on public housing schemes, or housing association work, local authority work. But he was the very first to introduce that into this country. What do you think of the elements here which make Biker so successful? Well, first of all, I think the layout is very unique at Biker. First of all, um, the wall which protects the estate. Everyone who passes uh, Biker on the north side tends to think of Biker as just being the wall. But within the estate, and the estate is largely composed of two-storey housing, it has to be said, the estate is very much a pedestrian-oriented area. There are very few car parks. This means that it was uh, safe and quiet, particularly safe for children playing around, but also within the estate itself, the form of the houses, the roof, roof shapes of the houses constantly change, and the colours constantly change. You know, some areas, for example, are all yellow, and others are blue, and he used metal roofs, blue metal roofs, you know, again, to add more colour. And he also used um, some curious devices, for example, at the ends of uh, some of the buildings where you've got vertical ducts, he actually put a bird box at the top you know, at the very top, you know, you know, he was very humane. Biker has had its critics and its fair share of problems, but I think it one of the most enjoyable and successful examples of social housing in Britain. <laughs>